Do you know the Mexican New Year's traditions and superstitions? Welcome to Bite Size Talks. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm Hempy. He's Jute. And uh, Julian, why don't you kick us off with like the first, the, the most well-known Mexican tradition? The most well-known, I would say, is eating 12 grapes at the strike of 12 when the new year just hits. Um, uh, at the end of the day, December 31st, 12, uh, 12 at night hits. You eat 12 grapes and then you make 12 wishes. Now, it's not that you just have to eat 12 grapes. You have to eat 12 grapes, I, as I read, because I... I'll be honest, I don't, I don't do any of these. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what I read is you have to eat the 12 grapes within a minute. Yeah, within a minute, dude. So you're just munching on grapes as fast as you can. <laughs> do you think it's it's uh, a loophole if you just like down a glass of wine? <laughs> I don't think it's the same. Um, <laughs> it's like saying uh, tomatoes and ketchup is the same. Okay, what, um, what if you what would it count though if you were to do like a glass of wine and like twelve raisins? Hmm, I think that's interesting territory. That's not the same though. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, no, my family has done that oof, since I can remember. You just eat the twelve grapes as fast as you can, and for each grape, you make one wish, uh, which is wild. I don't know why it's grapes. Actually, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> As we were coming up with this, like the one that I was able to recall, uh, I remember I was at my mom's house and her and my stepdad were talking about this one, uh, wearing the brightly colored underwear. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so that's that's the second one that we have on our list. <laughs> yeah, so brightly colored. So each color has a meaning. Red is for love. I think green is for health. Yellow is mm-hmm. for prosperity or something. Yellow is for money and like personal success. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, white is for peace. Uh, they've always told me don't wear black. I don't know. So black here is for full dignity. So I guess your family has none. <laughs> Left that <laughs> <laughs> a few generations ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what orange means? Orange. No. What is that? Orange is for wisdom. Hmm. No wonder we don't wear orange. Yeah, <laughs> and I oddly enough, there was nothing listed for blue, but I mean, blue is the mixture of green and yellow, right? Yeah. So, like, would that count as for both for good health and personal success? <laughs> I think you're reading too much into it. <laughs> I'm looking for I'm looking for loopholes here, way just to see. <laughs> Dude, you'll love this one. So, one that I've heard <clears throat> is uh, receiving the new year. So right before it's 12, you uh, go underneath the table and it'll help you find a boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> did, did like the weird uncle tell you about this one? <laughs> so, yeah, just go to the table. You yeah. Just close, under there. <laughs> close, close your eyes. Remember at midnight, you're supposed to kiss somebody. It's you and him down there. He's like, hey, me, hold hey. I guess we're the only ones here. Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up. That's not <laughs> my next episode with my therapist. <laughs> so that that was actually not one that was on this list uh, that I had found. Um, but another one I had also I had heard of this one number four for us um, is uh, you pack your bag. You pack uh, your bag, or or you walk your bag around your house. Yeah, that's the that has to be the sadder one, right? Like, oh, look you, you, sorry, you walk your suitcase around the house. Yeah, Bob Bob thinks he's at the the airport. Like, <laughs> I think it's schizophrenia is kicking in. <laughs> yeah, and you know the, the the saddest part about it probably is. What's that? I'll be honest. In my family, like luggage is a recent thing. Like we had like a bag, yeah. like so like it would be like like toting around. I imagine a bag of some sort, like a duffel bag, not even like a nice, like rolly. Uh, so like, for, for us, area. since we would go to Mexico, uh, we'd have like the biggest bag we could find, a uh, suitcase, because we'd carry like candies, tequila bottles, clothes, like we'd carry our whole life in there. Um, and mm-hmm. so that's why we'd have like the biggest one, because we usually take something for like the grandma or the, the nieces and nephews and stuff like that. So uh, that's I think for us, I think it was a long time, like my family... Because we, we, we really only traveled like within California. We were very located. I yeah. see, you know. Uh, 
and uh, dude, I think it was a lot of backpacks, and oh, like, yeah. and and one one use bags. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like oh, you're going over, just yeah, throw everything in a bag. Let's go. Um, so one thing that uh, uh, my family, or rather my grandma grandpa, used to do is uh, he would work out in in like the U.S. and at the end of the year. He just pack his truck up with like toys and shit for the family and all that, and just drive with like a truck full of of things to to Mexico. And dude, that thing was high. I don't know how the fuck that didn't fall, but yeah, just a bunch of gifts for everybody. Hmm. All right, so this one, uh, we'll get a couple of the generic ones that were on this list. Uh, fireworks, I think. fireworks. I think that's a everyone type of thing. Yeah, I mean, dude. Especially like we do it in New Mexico. Yeah. Oh man, because like like California, I grew up in California. California has a lot of like fireworks ordinances. Like yeah, you you can get little tickets in the cities depending on where. Like there's some city, cities that don't even allow fireworks on the Fourth of July. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, here's a wild one I've heard uh, that uh, my ancestors I guess used to do uh, shooting a gun into the air. Oh yeah, I mean that that used to be a popular thing and. and I don't know. I think it's part urban legend that the bullets come down with the same amount of force. Like I know it can cause some damage, but like I've known some people <clears throat> that like their uncle or something like has like a scar on their shoulder from a bullet that just fell down and hit him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably more you know, a on just like fell down, just... and, like <laughs> hit the corner of the table, and was like, "Yeah, I got shot, man!" Like crazy. That sound cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to like nobody. That's like the worst thing. Like to, to get a scar from doing something stupid. Yeah. Like like falling because you hit a rock. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it, it was a muddy terrain when I slipped. Okay. Capital, you felt like two feet. <laughs> yeah, I just like went down. Like I didn't fall. I just went down. Like <laughs> just slipped and broke a bone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but no. Even in uh, a thousand ways to die, I don't know if you ever saw that show. Um, yeah. They talked about a guy who got killed because somebody shot a bullet into the air and and went through, like his uh, collarbone, like near his mm. collarbone, and just like hit his heart. Uh, I thought you were gonna say it went through his head. It's like, oh man, he was probably one of those fools that still like had a soft spot, like <laughs> <laughs> la mollera, as they call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna need your help with the pronouncing of this one. Uh, bacalao. <laughs> bacalao. There we go. Uh, Alaviscano. Alaviscano. V i s v i v i z c a i n o. Anyways, uh, the, it's supposed to be like the eating of a uh, dried codfish. Okay. Which. Never heard yeah, of that I mean, dude, like if we're having any, I think on New Year's, we're going to put, we're going to show out we have fish. We're probably going to be like some ceviche, like some shrimp cocktails or ceviche. Like, yeah, uh, pozole is a, is a big one for New Year's too. Really? Yeah, pozole. Because uh, right. Christmas just passed, you know, make some more Still pozole. Yeah, just yeah. Kill it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this one. Um, Having bonuelos, and when you break it, you make a wish. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one. I do make bonuelos for for Christmas. I actually know how to make them. Way oh, yeah, <laughs> from I scratch, mean, dude, just frying the tortilla. Basically, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> freaking tortilla, hot oil, sugar, yeah. cinnamon. No, yeah. there, there's no oil in it. There's manteca, which is lard. Uh, okay, just because you want like full saturated fats. So, yeah, <laughs> Dude, you're gonna buy them. You're gonna buy them from anywhere. Like they're gonna just do them in oil way. They're gonna deep fry them. Well, yeah, it's, you fry them in oil. Yeah, but you put like manteca, cinnamon, sugar, salt, and the the rest yeah. of it. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I, I, dude, I mean, I, I can see why I come from a line of gamblers, man. There's a lot of just wishing and hoping involved here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. 
<laughs> it's not like, oh, let's go to bed early so we can start, you know, fresh tomorrow. It's fucking, let's get drunk. <laughs> like, no, yeah, I went to I bed at five in the morning and, last night. And hope something comes of this, right? Like, <laughs> it's like no. this year. Yeah. We, we stayed up all night just drinking and, and still like went to bed at five, six in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> the year went bad, like, God, the wrong chonies again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, another one sweeping the house. Yep, that was on here. I think that was just a fucking a trick to get us to clean the house. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know what we forgot to do last night? What? We forgot to sweep. Remember all those grapes you ate? I ate 12. Yeah, remember all those grapes? They're not going to count unless we sweep the house. I ain't gonna... <laughs> <laughs> no, so <clears throat> what What I well, what my family's done is during the, uh, or when the, the, the clock strikes 12, then you start sweeping the house and you start getting all the bad spirits yeah. out and all that. Yeah, there's it's literal like out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I think that was just somebody trying to get an early start on like the mayhem. I <laughs> know they're gonna find in the morning. Um, so this this other one's kind of basic. Uh, making a toast. A toast. Uh, a toast. Hey, here's to you know the new year and um, again, I, I think that's just you know. Of all the, you know, this and the fireworks, that, that those feel kind of generic. Yeah, those are very generic. Um, yeah, this one was kind of, this one was kind of weird. Like, uh, I think they call it the Al Año Viejo. What so is they that? say, like, the making of scarecrows. Scarecrows? Yeah, they say, like, people will make, I read this, like, they'll make, like, scarecrows and pin them on, like, top of the house or hmm. out on the street. No, um, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I mean, Google doesn't lie away. It <laughs> <laughs> depends. I don't know about that one. Uh, the lentils one, I think lentils represent money or something. Yeah. Yeah, so. Grab them, throw them, and over your shoulder or something. But, I mean, this is like you can eat them as well. But, yeah, they're supposed to bring, like, you know, they, they look like coins. Yeah. So they're like, oh, you know, if you have a bunch of lentils, you're going to have a bunch of coins and money. Yeah. Um, or holding uh, money as well, holding money, yeah. coins, or or silver, something just to to bring in money during the year. Yeah, and and they said like the larger the bill you can hold, the better. So if you're sitting there just holding that one dollar bill, it's like, <laughs> and your cousin has a twenty, you're like, damn, his year's gonna be a sad year. <laughs> yeah, I better eat. I better eat a lot more grapes, man. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot more lentils for this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Imagine if somebody rather than grabbing the grapes covered on the grab like a handful of cherries and just like <laughs> <laughs> chewing on the bones. That's what I think that's what my dad calls the cherry pits. Like he calls them yeah. bones. <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, those are those are the ones I know. Um I haven't really heard of any other ones. Uh so in in my family, there's the tradition of uh Drinking until you get blackout drunk. <laughs> That's been a very well established tradition. I think a lot of families have that tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Just staying up till five, six in the morning and blackout yeah. drunk. <laughs> and it leads straight into the second tradition of uh party doesn't end until the beer is gone. Oh yeah. Yeah, until right. everything is gone. Not just the beer, but like all the bottles and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once the alcohol is gone, like, okay, I guess we could start. The yeah, party's year. over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sun's already coming up. Like, um, I'll be honest, dude. Growing up in SoCal, like, we really didn't do any of these. Really? Uh, yeah. Something like every now and then I'd go to some chick's house or be talking to someone like, oh, do you guys do this? I'm like, nah, not. Not us. <laughs> I don't know, you're, calling, you're calling me whitewash. You have no Mexican traditions. Go, go put on the toggles. Go put on the toggles. <laughs> and go, go grab your mocojete right now. All right? Probably don't even have a colmal. Come on. So, and, and uh, I, know, I, know you don't have, I know you don't have a tamale pot. A uh, steamer. It's a pot. I can put yeah, tamale. Yeah, a steamer? A steamer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be there holding an iron under... <laughs> Probably, the only steamer you have is to get the wrinkles out of your clothes like. <laughs> oh god um, and this is kind of just a, a bonus throw in here 
that uh, maybe some people don't know about it. Uh, I know about this because of my mom. They used to celebrate this a lot growing up. Uh, Dia de los Reyes. Dia de los Reyes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is on January 6th. And like this was like my, my for my mom's family, this was their Christmas. Yeah, so, I mean, traditionally from what I've heard is you eat the rosca uh, during... Uh... Well, explain what that is because I don't, I don't think everybody knows what that is. Shit. Okay, so rosca <laughs> is a piece of bread. <laughs> It's like a, a circular piece of bread um, <clears throat> that has like little dried fruits on top of it. And within this bread, there is a little baby Jesus. <laughs> Hidden within the bread. So <laughs> anyone below four years old probably can't eat this bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> baby dies choking on another baby. Like So <clears throat> I actually heard of a story that someone was, eat- it was like doing the rosca. They were cutting up the cake, and they were eating the cake, and as they ate it, they felt the little baby Jesus. So it's a little plastic, like, white yeah. thing that goes inside of it. And if you if if, if you get the, the little baby Jesus, you're supposed to make tamales for January 6th. And they didn't want to cook, so they, they swallowed the little baby Jesus. I'm like, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that like on a lot of TikToks. Is like you know, uh, uh, when you get the baby Jesus, like... <laughs> or the little the cat video, we just crunching on the on the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, now, like, dude, like my mom used to say, or she said, uh, like their Christmas present for her and her sisters, like, uh, was her dad buying the masa and the carne to make tamales. So, oh shit. Like, yeah. Their, their, yeah, their gift that they got from their parents was like, oh, hey, you guys have the ingredients now to make food. to make your tamales. So, yeah, <laughs> this is like, dude, when, like very much like the, that that uh, that Mexican joke of like, why do Mexicans make tamales for Christmas? Why? So they have something to unwrap. Like, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that was very much like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> her siblings God, uh, you're gonna fucking kill those for for this <laughs> Just on the channel for that joke <laughs> um hey but it's true because like my mom said they used to, like they used to do get all their presents like january 6th yeah, um, yeah those were and i think it was because like my grandma was able to go buy a bunch of stuff off clearance oh that's a good point actually yeah <laughs> Because oh, I've heard a lot of a lot of Mexicans like celebrate Dia de los Reyes. And that's when they get gifts. Yeah, December twenty sixth, man. There's a lot of sales on toys and people returning stuff that they can't put back on full, at full price. Yeah, so... I'm guilty of that. I actually went out this twenty six, <laughs> twenty seven to go buy gifts, <laughs> and I was like, everything's so much cheaper. I should yeah. buy presents this time of year. <laughs> I have two Christmas trees in the cart. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Start buying decorations now. <laughs> but that that's that is the move though. That is like for, yeah. If you if you like lighting and uh little knickknacks, like buy them now and just put them in a tote, store and put them in the garage. Yeah. So that's thing. If you want to buy a Christmas tree based off previous uh video, like now is the time to buy one. <laughs> Go buy your fake Christmas tree right now because it's probably gonna be 80% off. <laughs> 70% off and just throw it in the garage. Don't don't even open it that first time. Just keep it like, like oh, yeah, we just bought this. Cut the tape. Good to go. Brand new. <laughs> I'm actually going to look for Christmas decorations. <laughs> you need your ancient toggles. <laughs> so uh, if you have any fun <laughs> New Year's traditions that your family does, let us know in the comments. Or if you eat 12 grapes for New Year's, like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Take care. Yeah.